फ्रेंड्स ऑन सेवेंटीन टू टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी द हाईकोर्ट ऑफ कर्नाटका ग्रांटेड बेल टू बी एक्ज इन मैंगलोर वायलेंस केस एस्टरडे द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया इश्यूड स्टे ऑर्डर्स और एड इंटरिम स्टे ऑर्डर्स ऑन दी बेल ऑर्डर्स गिवन बाय the state of karnataka uh, for the 22 accused who are involved allegedly involved in the violence at mangalore of uh, karnataka state if we go into the details of the incident all of us know that the government of india introduced an amendment to the citizens act so the citizenship amendment act 2019 was passed in the month of december 2019 and uh, it has sent uh, almost uh, simmering waves across uh, particular community because basing on the religion it has uh, categorically stated that the hindus muslims christians jains sikhs and parsis who are persecuted from three countries pakistan afghanistan and bangladesh they will be given the so called citizenship in india from the cut off date 31/12 2014 so some people supported it and some people opposed it as a result of the opposition many muslim persons in mangalore they took out to the streets they observed the so called band and it has turned violent on 19 12 so the protesters they have uh, not cared the so called prohibitory orders under 144 crpc and they came onto the streets the allegations by the police is that uh, they were armed with uh, lattes uh, soda bottles and sticks and they hurled stones uh, against the police uh, even though the police gave them due warning they did not care and they wanted to attack the police as such since uh, there was no other alternative for maintaining the law and order the police uh, resorted to lattice charge and finally they resorted to opening a fire and this resulted in the death of two persons by names jila uh, jilani and nausheen both of them are incidentally muslims they died and so many others injured so at the time dr harsha the commissioner of police he has uh, uh, declared the death of these two persons and uh, the government uh, Uh, of course the government you may know, you may be knowing the party in power is bjp so the muslims and other persons uh, the uh, opposition parties uh, they have stated that uh, the bjp is responsible for the so called uh, breakdown of the law and order in this connection the police registered 31 fir 31 fir so that much of the damage to the shops department of incidents have been reported therefore 31 cases have been reported and uh, many of them many of the people have been arrested and uh, 22 of them were granted bail by the high court of course the high court having uh, it has made uh, very drastic remarks against the investigators the police also so basing on the record that means case diary put before the high court the high court came to the conclusion that uh, the so called accused they did not commit the acts of violence instead of that the police started the violence they found uh, the police they have used the violence and they have uh, registered the case against innocent persons the record show that uh, the so called accused they did not have any criminal incidents incidents previously they were not involved in any any such stuff arson hooliganism or vandalism so these are the first instances and secondly the offenses alleged are not punishable with death or life imprisonment and thirdly there is no direct evidence to link the accused to the crime of course the police produced the so called uh, 
evidence of uh, video graphs and uh, the cc tv camera footage and uh, in the fir they stated that uh, the muslims numbering about 1500 muslims numbering about 2000 and they did not mention even a single name in the fir only during the recording of 161 statements uh, they developed the story and it is not believed by the high court and when they have gone through the photos also they have seen no doubt police the people muslims and other community people they are standing but uh, only one of them is armed was armed with a bottle that's all it may be a cold drink bottle or maybe a soda bottle but uh, the fir says that uh, the people were armed with uh, <clears throat> the crowd of 15 or 1600 they were armed with weapons like uh, stones soda bottles and uh, glass pieces the photographs they speak the truth that's why photographic version is a hundred percent believable than the version of the source and incidentally the high court did not find any police in the nearby vicinity it is an indication that the police were away and when the petitioners that means the accused persons produced their photos then it is clearly visible that the police they have resorted to violence that means they have resorted to painting of stones they have resorted to lottery charge that means the police authorities started the store painting stones and uh, the petitioners did not that means the reports of the investigation of the police is vice versa right and secondly here please remember so the supreme court <clears throat> gave so many guidelines and instructions whenever any person dies in the custody of police or otherwise and when death takes place in the hands of police definitely they have to register a case of 302 IPC that means death in police firing death by police death in police custody all these things uh, they have to be taken as murders by police and they have to register cases under section 302 of the IPC of course, if the investigation discloses that uh, the police are not responsible, they can drop further action. But instead of doing the same, the police registered cases of uh, 307 IPC against uh, the so-called agitators and uh, against the persons who died. So, the High Court found fault with this. What is this? Actually, the police should have registered cases under section 302 IPC against the police persons who opened the fire. But instead of that, they registered cases against the deceased persons and also some other associates, which is not at all accepted by the High Court. Therefore, in order to protect the rights of the citizens, the High Court states that it is necessary to admit them on bail. Therefore, bail was given to the 22 accused persons. Right. So here, the and uh, another point also the High Court found. Normally, in the uh, registration of the or during the investigation, the police noted that normally 141 IPC, of course, uh, they registered some 307, lastly they had 149. First of all, you have to know about 141. So 141 means forming into an unlawful assembly with the common object of doing some unlawful activity. The common object, what is the object, common object here? It they stated that opposing the CAA, the High Court stated that in this secular country, according to the fundamental rights, Article 19, everybody has got a right of expression of uh, his views, freedom of speech and freedom of expression and uh, the people, the police cannot uh, take uh, the opposing of uh, CAA as an unlawful as object. It is definitely a rightful object. Therefore, the High Court uh, so came down heavily on the police and uh, ultimately they gave bail. Of course, the government of Karnataka made an appeal before the Supreme Court requesting the Honorable Supreme Court uh, to cancel the bail orders given by the High Court of Karnataka ultimately. Now, the Supreme Court CJI, Bobde, B.R. Gawai and uh, Surekant, all these uh, three judges bench while disposing the appeal numbers uh, 1992 
T O two nineteen ninety five by two thousand twenty in the case of Hollywood State of Karnataka versus Muhammad Ashik actually Ashik alias Muhammad Ashik and others uh, they have now given ad interim stay of course they have given a notice uh, to the uh, state to the accused persons uh, and also to the uh, police department also of course. Uh, whether they will continue the stay or whether they will uphold the order of the high court or whether they will dismiss the order of the high court uh, let us wait and see anyway this is a good judgment regarding uh, the uh, high court. actually we have to appreciate the high court having gone through the record of investigation they have made so many findings these findings will be necessary when you have to represent your case the arguments your arguments in any other bail application they will be of much help in this regard therefore i am putting in this youtube thank you very much